Eric. Tired. Shit. It's the first round, I was tired. I know you mentioned you'd be looking at possible surgery if your back was hurting in this one. Does that mean you're going to stick with the current therapy that you're using for your back and you won't be looking yeah, at different so surgery? So far, so good. So far, so good. That was an entertaining fight. I know your last fight wasn't uh, what you thought it would be. Um, just how relieved are you to, to get a performance like this and also get another finish? Um, I really had an orgasm. That's the one reason why I took my shorts off. So it, it felt good. <laughs> did, anyone, did anyone from the UFC speak to you afterwards about taking your shorts off in, in the uh, octagon? One of the, the short fat guys came and told me to take my shorts off. Backstage though? No, no. in the cage. That was one of the most entertaining post-fight interviews ever. Can you tell us a bit more about your interaction with Donald Trump? Oh, I never met the man. I don't want to meet him. I'll too bullshit. <laughs> Did anyone from the UFC brass speak to you after the fight about possibly if this one earns you a shot at the title and you're the number two great head coach? Oh, totally. Yeah, they did, but I, don't, I really don't think I'm ready for the title shot. So that's five rounds. I have to go real. Um, you know, I used to train 30 minutes um, a day whenever I train. You know, this camp I train for an hour. And I guess I got to like, hype up my, my, my hours if I'm more training. Your corner told you in between the second and third round that you were down two rounds and you get out there, kill or be killed. How much did that help to motivate you going into that round and mentally put you really in the heat? That's how I go in every fight. Kill or be killed. Win, lose, or draw. I'm still getting my how tired I get, I just still punch it hard in the first round and in the third round. Get his life is pretty. Let his life is pretty vocal on uh, Twitter during the fight. He basically uh, put out a few tweets, and in one of them said that he believes he can beat you in one takedown, and that you got starched by Mark Hunt, and he'll do much worse to you. What, what do you think of those kind of comments from Curtis Blades? Curtis Blades just playing fish right now. He want me to um, say something back to him and say, okay, let me fight Curtis Blades next, which he's behind me instead of me saying, okay, I want the title shot. You know, that's all he's doing, just trying to play. You know, he don't want me to fight for the title next. He want to get a shot at me before anyone else does. That's all it is. But fuck her. Retweet that back to him for me. <laughs> <laughs> sure you, you, said, you spent some time on the ground right after. Uh, what was going through your mind when you were on that cold ground afterwards? Oh man, this shit rough. It, um, the ground, the turf or whatever that shit, it feel like turf. That's all I was thinking about. I was like, man, this shit come. Does this win mean more to you than the Mark Hunt win just with the, the card this was on and the fact you were able to come back with you know, 11 Mark seconds? Hunt. Yeah, or sorry, Mark, no, lost, never mind. Uh, just, just, it's, 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 as far as, as far as your, um, as far as career victories go, where does this rank? I guess this is number one now. It was Travis Brown. Uh, is this one, because the Travis Brown fight is just about the same way. Um, one dimension of them, out of nowhere. Um, God said, hey, get your black ass going. You gotta go. That's what happened. I came in with the knockout. So what are you trying to do, man? Join Joe Rogan on his podcast. You gonna beat him? <laughs> you look like a stoner anyway. <laughs> yeah, oh um, shit, whenever, whenever I can, really. You said you need two weeks. Why the two weeks before you smoke out with him? Oh, uh, just in case you sign up, try to come back and test him next week. Um, so. Is that the biggest incentive for you to jump in the show to just make some weight with Joe Rogan? Yeah, I'm sure everybody else doing it. You know, you know, if Joe Rogan asks you today, if you come on my show and smoke me, you don't want to smoke me, you do Joe? Eric, you're, you're, you're actually good after the, the post fight truck session. You can start. So, as soon as that's over, you're good. For sure. Uh, What's your name? Mark Raymond, yeah, and make buddy.com. Okay. That's, that's when the competition window know. ends, okay. and then you can. It's not it's not illegal outside competition. After a fight like that, I need mean, more than probably me right now. Derek, at what point you knock his mouth? I wanted him to think, okay, hey, you think that John hurt me and come check me so I can get some more time to go to the I already I see what he's doing. I was like, okay, I didn't go over my mouth and put it up. So I hurt me and see that I have my mouth. So I wanted some more time to catch me. Hey, Derek, after the fight, you held up a hard cell phone that's one of your main assets. It's hard. How much do you think that plays into your? It's everything. Everything. You know, um, a lot of these guys have been training for years. It's 
stuff like that. You know, I'll, I'm really not a mixed martial artist. I'm really a brawler and stuff like that. And I believe like the art will take you farther than any kind of skill level or whatever. You know? I, that's what, what I always believe. So you think you, you would attribute that to most of your wins? Yes, well, to, to everything I do. You know, even my family, my family come first. I don't really don't care about myself, I care about my family. So everything, my life and everything is really have to do with my home. Derek, yesterday at, at Sirloin Wayne's got into a little bit of a pushy well, shove. To me, I'm, I'm small, small, so I can't <laughs> really. uh, You knock off his tat. Anything personal with you guys? Or what, what prompted that? Oh, not at all. You know, I guess it was the, um, the energy of the building. The energy was crazy. So I didn't expect for them to really cheer for me as much as they did, especially from my last fight, how much I got, you know, I really didn't expect for them to cheer, but whatever I did, they just gave me the energy, you know, to really try to show them that the USA is here. How are you celebrating today? Oh, I'm not celebrating at all. I'm tired. I'm going to take a show and play my black No uh, wine and cheese? Hmm? No wine and cheese? No, uh, it's next week. Yeah, uh, it ain't perfect. After you got uh, poked in the eye, you were kind of looking off. Do you think they were going to call it? Were you just tired? Uh, were you kind of take that time right there? Oh, uh, I, I thought, like, her being seen, poking in my eye, I thought he was going to say something. Damn, that's my boy. What did uh, the coach say anything to you afterwards? I know you probably gave him a little bit of a heart attack waiting yeah, so long till the end. He said, I don't know why I'm killing him for call the <laughs> Did you have the confidence? Did you know? Were you playing possum any going in the third? I mean, to wait to that very last moment, did you always have the confidence that you were still going to get it no matter what? Even though that clock was ticking, ticking down and coach is calling out the time, did you still have the confidence to believe that you were still going to finish the fight? I believe I did. You know, the last couple of fights, besides the last one, Border fight and you know, the Travis Brown fight. You know, I usually, whenever I'm down in the scoreboards, I usually come come alive to the third, uh, like the last one. According to Twitter, you overcame the greatest statistical disadvantage uh, in, I think, either heavyweight or, or it's like a fight in general. Like you were down 82 strikes and you overcame it. Do you like winning fights this way? I just like winning fights. I don't care how, how ugly it is, how pretty it is. I just like winning. I know in the in the past you've always kind of been down on yourself because of performances, but being able to bring it back so close to the end and get a, a devastating finish, is that something that you take into yourself to feel better about how, where you are overall as a fighter? Yeah, I believe so. Um, before the fight, I dislocated my, my finger. It was warming up, and I really can't make a fist. So just by me knowing that I'll finish the guy like that, but I didn't make a fist. 